Không, hôm nay không đi đâu hết Tử Vi nói thế Không ạ à. Linh, I'll go Không Buồn quá V, do you want some lime juice? No, no sour taste today. Uh, is it bad luck according to my zodiac signs for today? Bad luck? What's up with that? Where did you hear this? My zodiac sign? You, do you believe everything that you read? You're maybe a bit gullible, V. It's just lime juice. I'm not, Dustin. Yes, I think maybe a little bit. There's just misconceptions. Let's go, V. We can go do something else. No, 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 no. I want. You won't, you won't. So today, we are going to be talking about misconceptions. Misconceptions and misconceptions. Come with us. God, V, this is getting ridiculous. Seriously, get out of your room. Beat it, we need to go do something. But today, this morning, I read some information about my zodiac sign, and it is making me think twice about things. So if someone is thinking twice about something, it's having, like we say, a second thought or thinking a lot about it. So I'm assuming you would believe it because it's uh, like superstitious. So it's... A... <gasps> it's not superstitious. Zodiac signs is never superstitious. Oh my God, V, this like, is... So it out is of hand. calculated uh, based on science and technology, <sighs> so please don't say that zodiac sign is superstitious. This is not spot on. This is not how your life is. So if something is spot on, that's to be like exact about something. Dustin. V. Do you know anything about zodiac signs or no no tarot? Tarot cards. Tarot cards. Yes. Um, I know of them, but I know very little of that. Oh, let me show you. You've got to know this before judging me. V, I take all of it with a grain of salt. I will show you right away. Show me right away, but before you show me, so to take something with a grain of salt, you maybe don't really believe it that much, so I take all of this with a grain of salt. I'm very skeptical. To take something with a grain of salt, it has nothing to do with cooking. If you're skeptical about it, you need to wait for something to happen to really believe it. So for example, V is talking about zodiac signs. It's like, Dustin, the zodiac sign is true. And I say, no, I just take it with a grain of salt. It means I don't really believe it that much. So these are tree types. This paper is based on zodiac signs. Uh, this one is called Ligvatsu. It's kind of a lunar year. Like, we calculate the days, the age based on this. Okay. But I will show you this one only okay. today. So walk me through all of this. Show me the rope. Show me how this works. I don't know anything oh. about any of this. I okay, can now. See. Justin. Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay. And what, when I take a deep breath, what do I do? Think about what you want in the future. Okay. Um. Think about your dream. Think about your ambition. Okay, okay, okay. Think about v, the vision. I can't think when you're talking. Okay, I got something. Thought about All right, then close your eyes one more time. Okay. To think about what you want to achieve in the future. I already have something, V. All right, all right, it's okay. <clears throat> Pick three cards. Three cards. Want. Okay, I'll make a simple. Randomly. Close your eyes. Think about what you. V, stop talking. So one. Okay. Two. Three, there we go, three cards. Are you truly thinking about that? <laughs> All right. Okay, so predict my future. Mm. So what okay. does this mean? Let's come to the first card. The fool. The fool. The fool dancing on the mountain. In the journey of achieving your dream, you will sometimes become a fool. Okay, what else? Nine of wands. You so, have to overcome a lot of troubles in your journey. So, this is this is ridiculous. This is getting out of hand, V. Okay. You cannot say it okay, like I, I in will that try way to, to these open characters. Minded. Okay, okay. I'll touch relax. Wood, touch, touch, touch. touch wood? What do you mean, touch wood? 
touch wood. It's like to get away from the bad luck. No, it's knock on wood and you're using it wrong. Oh, really? So you say knock on wood. So it's preventing future bad luck. But touch wood? Comb you. I don't know what touch wood means. <laughs> knock on wood. Justin, knock on wood. You cannot. Well, what am I knocking on wood for? Because you have just told these, like, you know, characters are ridiculous that. Ah, okay. So hopefully now the bad luck doesn't come to me. Superstitious. Super, 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 To knock on wood this is to prevent future bad luck. So for example, you've done maybe a lot of tests at school and you got 10 marks. And you're like, yes, I always get 10 marks and I'll probably never get a nine mark. And then you're like, ah, knock on wood. Maybe in the future you prevent from getting a nine mark. Anyway, I know that you don't believe in zodiac signs. Yep, I don't. Palm reading, tarot nope. card reading, nope. you name it. No. Nope. You just said, uh, you name it? You know that phrase? So V just mentioned, you name it. So if you're explaining something and giving a lot of maybe examples or ideas, this, 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 you would say, you name it. You name it. That is referring to often like an explanation of many things. So, so for example, if I'm speaking to someone about traveling in Vietnam, I'm like, you can do everything. You can go fishing, you can go swimming, you can learn Vietnamese, you can go cooking, you name it. What is your birthday? Oh, that's okay, no problem. My <laughs> birthday is May 1st, okay, 1988. So you are Taurus? Taurus. Taurus. Yeah, I know that. I'm a Taurus. Let me check it out for you. Fill me in. Give me the update about myself. May 1st, you are a Taurus. Yeah. You are passionate and committed to your ideas, even though you are generally sensible and polite. Oh, that's exactly true to Dustin, guys. <laughs> are you actually reading that? You enjoy really making lying? yourself respected and prefer to stay away from any controversy. And the predictions were for, for, for Taurus this month, you are going to meet a lot of pretty girls. And hey, so hey, of one, of those girls, one of those girls is super, super beautiful and okay, talented. Okay, okay. Oh, probably that's me. So I just said V's full of it and she's lying through her teeth. You're full of it, it means you're just making stuff up and you're lying through your teeth. That means just you're lying a lot. I'm just that... kidding at the, the last part. But don't you think it's spot on? No. Like you don't buy much into that? No, I don't buy much into any of this because the thing is all of this is just, it's superstitious. It's just misconceptions. Mm -hmm. But you just mentioned buy into something. Yes. So if you buy into something, you believe it. So I don't buy into this, so I don't really believe it. To buy into something, it has nothing to do with spending money. But if you buy into something, you believe something. So for example, you know, V for this episode, she buys into the zodiac signs and tarot cards and things that I think are very superstitious, which I don't buy into it. Probably you and some of our audience don't know that people have just recently found out one more zodiac sign. I really couldn't care less. So, okay, I would tell the audience. Okay. Give me that piece of paper. Uh, this one right here? Yeah. Okay. The cumulus? Maybe Afayukis. 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 So in Vietnam, in Vietnamese, we say Sa Fu. Afayukis represents unity. It's people were spirited, magnetic, impulsive, clever, and at times jealous, power hungry, and temperamental. At their hearts, they were healers. Healers, right? Healers? Healers. Like the foot right here, this is your heel? Yes. Healers. Healers who hoped to one day read every ill, disease, violence, and bring everyone closer together. I gotta say that I get hooked on it. Yeah, so V gets hooked onto this. You get hooked onto something, it's something you really enjoy and you want to do more, learn about, maybe addicted to something. But how about you guys? 
Do you believe in zodiac signs or tarot cards? So leave a comment, tell us what you believe in because as a foreigner, I could learn from you guys. You don't believe in zodiac signs. You don't believe in tarot card reading. You don't believe in palm reading. Yeah. So what exactly do you believe in? You know, I pretty much just buy into myself and things that I can see with my own eyes. Hmm, it's kind of hard to do because sometimes we don't really know what we could see and what we could do. If, to see something with your own eyes is what you believe by looking with your eyes. For me, it's being responsible for yourself, you know, taking the responsibility and your actions that follow it. But having a positive perspective in life will help you with a lot. And sometimes things just fall into place and allows you to be more successful in the future. Good attitude, I got your drip. Got drip, good, 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 good. But explain so, the word. Yeah, I just mentioned things to fall into place. If something falls into place, it, something that happens in the way that you would want it to happen. Also, like, uh, do you get my drift? That means, like, do you understand me? And V does, so good, 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 good. Sometimes, like, you know, I thought um, I was not good for this. I got no motivation and good feelings for this. Yeah, but it's like when you have that mindset, it just it, it brings you down. It makes yeah. you sad. It makes you upset. Yeah, that's right. So if something brings you down, it, it makes you upset. So it makes you sad. I would choose to have a positive thinking and positive attitude from now on. Good. Do you know that in Vietnam, Maybe some teachers and parents always speak down to their students and kids, and it would probably take a toll on them. Học sốt như lứa này thì làm cái gì? Rồi ơi, lùn thế này thì làm sao mà lấy được chồng? Không biết lâu ăn thì lấy lấy chồng làm sao được? Yeah, so V just mentioned speak down to somebody. So speaking down to somebody is like they're inferior. You're here, they're here. So you're speaking down to them, and take a toll on somebody. So we would say maybe it's like taxing or you take your energy or it takes something from you in a negative way. You're so negative, you're speaking down to them. You need to lift them up. You need to make them feel happy again, inspire them, encourage them. No, I get your drift. You get my drift. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> so if you speak down to somebody, you are speaking to them as they're inferior. You're up here, they're down here. So oftentimes, maybe you're, you have a bad job and your boss speaks down to you and every day you're upset and you're stressed out and it takes a toll on you. It takes a lot of your energy and your happiness. Anyway, all of those things from zodiac signs, palm reading, tarot card reading, they might have some truth to them, so, but you don't really need to depend on those the whole time. All right, Justin. Look at you. <sighs> now you just drink the lime juice. Yes. And before you're talking about the zodiac sign and you can't drink it. See, I have just finished up one cup of lemon juice and there's no bad luck. Bye. I feel positive energy. So yes. now you're a bit more realistic. The most important part is that we believe in ourselves, right? Absolutely. Believing in yourself and seeing what you're capable of doing. No, okay. no, no, let's go okay. up for shopping. V, why does it go from 10, 11, 12, 12, 8, 14? The number 13 is a symbol of bad luck in Vietnam. But that, that's, that's all superstitious. It's kind of not superstitious, it's kind of traditional belief. Okay, okay. Welcome to the floor, 12A. No, 13. <laughs>